Jonathan Davis naturally at the beginning of the 2021 fantasy football season, if you look at the first three or four games and and made predictions as in terms of breakout stars last year, I think you may have DJ more like almost or close to at the top. He was off to a fantastic start. Uh, Sam Darnold just had that lockdown on him. He was just targeting him and throwing it to him every time. I don't know what happened. Uh, I, I know that he was once, once, once uh, Darnold was out, that was basically it. PJ Walker and Cam Newton were not targeting nearly as much. And now he's got a quarterback that can throw the ball and throw the deep ball a little bit. So hopefully DJ Moore's numbers improve off last year. I guess the question is how much do you think they could 10%, 20%? What are the range of outcomes here? Well, you know, if Baker Mayfield can be like the 16th best quarterback in the NFL, then I think the sky is sort of the limit for DJ Moore. For example, uh, Jarvis Landry's first season in Cleveland, so the first year that he played with Baker Mayfield, uh, he was really good. He had 149 targets, 81 receptions, 976 yards, and five touchdowns. And DJ Moore is like Jarvis Landry but way faster, way bigger, and way more effective after the catch. They run the same sorts of routes. They you know, both get some handoffs. They're both going to be used in motion. DJ Moore is capable of playing outside or in the slot, but he is just so great after the catch. If you look at some of his yards after the catch numbers in his career, he's like one of the best guys in the NFL once he has been given the ball and is also really good after contact as well. And you can clearly see by, by just looking at his career numbers, 498 targets, but only 14 touchdowns. It's just a clear limiting factor of the offenses that he has played in. He has always been above average, both in his offense and in the NFL for yards per target. The 2020 season where the Panthers were just diabolical, he averaged over 10 yards per target despite playing for a five-win team who no one feared you know throwing the ball at all with that combination of uh you know all, all these different guys i mean there were there were xfl guys you know pj walker throwing passes out there and it didn't seem to matter so dj moore has just always been fine from a yardage and a ppr perspective but he's never been able to break into that elite portion of the wide receivers because the touchdowns have never been there you know you would just you're not going to finish top 10 at your position with single digit touchdowns or it'd be very difficult to Right. So if he can get to, uh, let's even say nine touchdowns this season for DJ Moore, I, I mean, 100 receptions, is that out of the question? Absolutely not. Like, I, I think he is phenomenal. So I'm pretty aggressively drafting him at the tail end of the third round. I think he, I think he could be a real value there.